Hi, I'm Tim Berglund with Confluent. If you look at what a modern Kafka-based application does, a few things stand out. It usually pulls data in from some external source. Say there's a database that handles some core business function. It usually processes some kind of event stream, things like payments or sensor readings or maybe inputs from a mobile app. And it probably wants to enrich that event stream with other data sources and do some kind of stream processing over it, like, say, computing an aggregate. Let's take a look at how to do all of these things using KSQL DB, the event streaming database for stream processing applications. To start with, we have data in a relational database that we want to get into Kafka. We'll use Kafka Connect to do this. Now, as an established part of the Kafka ecosystem, Connect has a huge library of connectors available for it, but normally requires you to stand up a separate cluster to run them. Here, in KSQL DB, I can start up a connector with this SQL statement without having to stand up a Connect cluster of my own. The connector is now running, constantly producing new movie records into the movie's topic just as soon as they're inserted into the database table. So those movie records have come into a Kafka topic, and now we'll register that topic with KSQL DB as a table. The connector has already prepared the data in the format we need, with the message key being the movie ID and the value being the movie record itself. You can see all the movies are there. But what are we doing with those movies? Well, the application we're building is a movie rating system. Imagine we have a large community using a mobile app to rate movies that they're watching at home, since they tell me it's rude to use your phone at the movies. Uh, every time a user selects a movie on the app and taps a rating, we get a message produced to our ratings topic. I'm using a script to simulate those ratings here since that mobile app doesn't exist yet. But still, we'll enrich and average those ratings, and since averages are no good if you can't read them, we'll also want to be able to query the results when the streaming application is up and running. Anyway, those ratings by themselves are not very informative. It's just a bunch of numbers. So let's try joining them with the table we just made. Now we're getting somewhere. At least we see movie titles. But what we really want is to group them by title and then average the ratings. This is a much more interesting operation. We're beginning to get a sense for the average preferences of our movie rating public, and it looks like they're pretty sensible. And notice something else. It's put all the data we need in one place, and it keeps it constantly updated. If we're building a web app or a mobile front end, we wouldn't want to go stitching all these things together every time we need to build a page. Now, let's make this a little bit more official by creating a materialized view of the results. This view is constantly running inside the KSQL DB engine, consuming new ratings as soon as they appear on the ratings topic and updating the averages in the table in real time. And it's fine to dump that table out to the CLI like we've been doing, but I've got specific questions about these movies. Uh, we want to see these averages, right? Personally, I want to know what people think of Super Mario Brothers. I want to know how Die Hard is doing. I want to know if Tree of Life is as polarizing as it always is. So with these simple select queries, what we call pull queries in KSQL DB, we can read those values from the table using plain old SQL. And let me contrast pull query with its counterpart, a push query. Our application might want to pull particular results out of a materialized view. That's a pull query, like we just saw. But it also might want to subscribe to all the updates on a view, like this. Here I'm getting a stream of all movie ratings as they happen, enriched with movie title metadata. Those updates come to the app as messages enter Kafka and are processed by KSQL DB. This is what we call a push query. And all this command line SQL is great, but you might have been wondering, how do we integrate this with actual applications? Well, KSQL DB has a REST interface that lets us do all the same things I've been showing you, but over HTTP. Here I'm querying that same materialized view of average movie ratings using a simple REST query and curl. So that's the basics of KSQL DB. You've got a streaming SQL engine to define stream processing programs, you've got built-in Kafka Connect, and you've got pull queries to enable you to read the results of your stream processing in real time. KSQL is being developed in the open on GitHub and is completely free to use. So download it, try this demo, check it out, and let us know what you get started building.